This is Eat Lead, the return of Matt Hazard. Grab yourself some popcorn. Let's sit back and watch the introduction which explains the game. My name's Hazard. Matt Hazard. At one time, I was one of the most popular action game characters in the business. I started off like a lot of guys, side-scrolling my way through the 80s. When the 90s came along, I signed on with Marathon Software to star in their original first-person shooter. Matt Hazard 3D went straight to the top of the charts. Marathon signed me to a lifetime gig, and I branched off into every action niche imaginable. Spy thrillers, survival horror games, fantasy adventures. I guess all that success went to my head. I asked Marathon if I could take the Matt Hazard brand in new directions, and they let me run with it. Let's just say that was a mistake. That debacle sent the company into a tailspin. The place went downhill faster than you can say non-violent water gun based third person shooter. Don't ask. I like the hazmat cart thing and the James Bond parody is nice. But let's dig into the game here. This is a parody of action games. And Matt Hazard is a fictional character who's supposed to have come of age in the 80s like the Bionic Commando, Nathan, Rad, Spencer. That's who he reminds me of. Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard has a teen rating and the game falls within that because it doesn't have any ultra-violent gunplay. People's heads aren't exploding. It's not full of overused intentional bad words just to have them in there so they can get a mature rating. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Did I miss something in the script? Is this game set in 1972? Keep talking, Hazard. You got about 10 seconds before I go upside your head kung fu style. And again, I applaud the designers and writers for trying something different, for relying on a parody style, on a humorous style that is clever and well and, and fairly well written. Some of the jokes I think are you can see coming a mile away, others others are perfect. Like the whole golden eye spoof calling it Thunder Eye. I I, I got a good laugh out of that one. I don't mean to laugh, but whoever's writing your material needs to lay off the 80s action flicks. Your words are puny, like you. You are the past, Matt Hazard. I am the future, and your present ends now. Hi, Matt. Still in one piece, I see. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And you are? I can't tell you my name. I think we're safe in this part of the server, but you can never be sure. Just call me QA. Uh, okay, QA. Mind telling me what's going on? I hacked into this game I found running on a secure server, and that's when I noticed you were in trouble. That's the game isn't necessarily a parody of gameplay, meaning it doesn't try to play like Bionic Commando or Duke Nukem 3D or any of the other games that it is a parody of. It's hard for me to be critical of a game where I really respect that they tried something different, but the gameplay was not fast enough for me. That's not to say you won't like it, so I would suggest at least check at least checking the game out on a rental. Because I think the gameplay feels disjointed from the rest of the game. It takes a third person perspective, which, as I've said in other reviews, is not really my favorite style of shooter. And while some games like Dead Space and Gears of War do it pretty well, others like Army of Two and this game give you a uh, give you the ability to spin your camera around the guy a bit, so you can get a sense of what's going on around you. And and you hit one of the buttons and you run up to a wall and take cover. You you can hit another button and take cover behind something else, or or dislodge yourself from cover and go running somewhere. He just seems very slow and cumbersome. I'd frequently end up getting myself into a corner where I couldn't see what was going on because the camera was looking the wrong direction. The gunplay was also a bit slow Kitty. for my taste. Kitty Abundanza. Matt Hazard. What the hell are you doing shooting up my casino? Those look like... <gasps> They're the Russian rebels you fought in Thunder Eye. See what I mean? QA. Can you hack us and exit? It'll take a while. And yeah, the whole thing seems like it could have been tightened down a bit more because they really have something here. Whoa! 
I have once again proven Soviet superiority by managing to smuggle nuclear device into country. And there's some great stuff like later when you run into guys from the game Sokum who are coming at you with water guns and you end up getting these super soakers and shooting back at them. Now they're, now they're deadly super soakers, of course. And it looks like they're about to ambush Bill Schindler. Bill the Wizard? From Overlords of Wizard World? Nah, he'll be fine. He's what, level 75 by now? This may be worth a look for you if you're out for something funny or something different. You to hell! Oh. Ah. Splash one action hero! And it is refreshing to see something something different come out on the market. I have a feeling that a lot of these games that try new things like Mirror's Edge and this one probably don't nice. get quite the attention. That, uh, that they could because everybody wants the exact same violent shooter for multiplayer these days, but but I'll always take the time to talk about something a little different, even if it's not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, that was quite a trophy. Or my giant glass of beer, whatever way you want to look at it. Suits make me look kind of old. 